The message of God is not believe in me or die. It's believe in me so you don't die. A lot of people will say, well, that's the exact same thing. If you're standing on the edge of a cliff and your parents watch you start to walk off towards the cliff and they say, hey, come back here, you're going to die. Is that different than them saying, oh, hey, no, come back or you're going to die. Do you sense the urgency in that second option? Of course you do. The urgency is found directly in the word of God, yet people don't want to see the difference between those two. They don't want to see that God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever has faith in him, something that is obtainable by anybody, from the richest man in the entire world to the poorest man, from those who can't walk to those who create uh, you know, uh, metal and plastic limbs for people to walk. For those of us that has uh, the house and the car and, and the hot, you know, attractive spouse to the person who's single and lives in the upstairs bedroom of their grandparents' house with nothing. God makes salvation obtainable by anybody. Anybody can be a follower of Christ. It is not limited it is not only white people. It's not a white person's religion. It's not only black people. It's not only Jews. It's not only Gentiles. It is for everybody. And the message that God gives to us is not one of limitation. It's not one of you can be saved, but only after you do X, Y, and Z, and you're kind to your neighbor, and you give to the poor, and you build housing, sustainable housing for the homeless. Not that. You can be in any situation given on the planet and still be saved. But God only asks one thing, and that is availability. Are you available for me? Do you recognize that you need a savior? Do you recognize that you need to be thrown a lifeline that will save you from an eternity apart from God? You see, in order for God to create a choice between good and evil, there has to be free will. There has to be an option. Otherwise, it's not real. It's not a choice. It's not legitimate. We'd be loving God because we were programmed to, not because we wanted to. And that's where Satan comes into play. That's where hell comes into play, which is eternal separation from God. People don't want to go to hell because they're separated from God. They don't want to go to hell because they're burning. Well, if you don't want to go to hell, why do you want to stay away from him on earth if you're not willing to stay away from him after earth? Think about that.